Oh, this is Mike, nostressmike.com, number two. And uh, we're talking about uh, policing ourselves. Now, uh, one thing I've noticed in many countries that I've gone to, they have um, a traffic police. Now, these are policemen, it'd be like a policeman, and their only job is traffic, something to do with traffic. Now, they do get involved in disturbances and stuff like that. They do, but that's not really their main job. Their main job is traffic. Keep the traffic moving, uh, riding parking tickets. Uh, like I say, there are times you may call. Uh, you know, you see a policeman, somebody did some shoplifting, and you see the, the traffic police, you'll call him and and uh, so now these people all work for the municipal, the, the government. And uh, I noticed in China, China is really a poor excuse, but uh, they have, um, I think, 12, 12 15 story uh, buildings for the people to live in. And uh, each building has got the building manager and that's the person you call for um, any problems you're having in the building uh, the man and wife get an argument or stuff uh, they, that'd be the person they call and if that person feels like uh, they need police then they'll make they'll call the police and uh, it's the same same thing. They have a log. Uh, they keep records on who's been, you know, doing good and who's been doing bad. I mean, they're they're snitching on. That's what they do. They snitch on each other. And the same thing. The the people that live in the building. If you say, well, I think there's something going on in this one, they'll go tell the manager. So then, but China, everybody snitches on each other. Now you got to remember that's snitching is a good way to control a population you don't have enough uh, police and military to control a, a population so you rely on the population to snitch on each other and uh, when you snitch on somebody if it's a good snitch well then you might be rewarded a few extra points or something like that you know so but i mean it's they have their own system china does um and then, like I say, so that's in that building. Now, there'd be a cluster of buildings, uh, maybe 6, 8, 10, 12 of these clusters of buildings. And at the same time, on the, in that uh, complex, they would have um, their own security. And uh, it was, the, the security is police. It's something to do with police. And what's that? And... Uh, so they take care of what's going on on the outside of the building. So then if the manager uh, calls him, he's already outside uh, in that complex. And he makes sure everybody's parking their cars right. Uh, they're uh, not walking on the grass. Or, you know, I mean, they're just, they've got their own set of responsibilities that they take care of. And um, uh, arrest. I think what they did was they would call the police and they would work with the police to make the arrest. And then, uh, same thing, they had a log, uh, log book and they'd write down everybody's involved and what happened and all this kind of stuff. And um, so I thought that was kind of neat the way they controlled the population because like I say in that complex if you're over here talking politics and somebody hears you talking politics then they would report it to the manager and then now they know your your problem so you know so I mean they it was really strange or like in my case um, I uh, made videos and whenever I'd be making videos they would somebody would report me somebody you know they park their car and they're walking along. They see me walking around amongst in that complex, 
and they'd uh, report it to the security guy and then all these security people would come around me. What I was doing wasn't illegal. And, uh, but like I say, I was an American, so I could be a spy. So uh, they would cluster around me and through intimidation um, would, would do that. And they'd make a log on there that I was out there making videos. And so that's why you saw when I was in China, I was up on the rooftop and I'd make videos up on the rooftop. It was less likely uh, to be detected that I was making videos. That's why I was up there. And, uh, but um, let's see the time, okay. Um, so that's a way to do, uh, and do the security. Now, I've also, here in the United States, well, I've seen, there's been in, uh, in other countries too. They've got, um, uh, what do you call it? Oh, oh, I forgot what they call it. But uh, it's a fenced off neighborhood. Uh, they'd have a wall around the neighborhood or something like that. And there's only one way or two ways or three ways, whatever, to get into the neighborhood. And um, uh, a gated, gated community, yeah. And in these gated communities, they all had, um, what do you call it, like a, a neighborhood association kind of thing. And they set the rules that goes on in that neighborhood. And uh, like, like you can't have your, your uh, garage doors open. They have to be closed. Uh, you can't be working on a car um, in your driveway. You can't have them jacked up. You can't have a car jacked up. You can't have a camper uh, on your property. Uh, you know, I mean, they had their own, uh, the gated community had their own rules. And depending on that gated community, some of them uh, would have their own, um, what do you call it, uh, security people that would drive around. So, uh, because the thing is, you call the police, how long does it take, when you dial 911, how long does it take? So, it's easier to let the, the local security people be the first ones on. And uh, here in the United States, in uh, these gated communities, uh, most of the time it's dorky stuff, like maybe their, their grass is too long or there's too many weeds in their grass or, you know, I mean, they, they, they some of these, uh, gated communities got some really weird rules. And, uh, but these are things, uh, different ways that they're able to, uh, police themselves. And I'm sure they make a log on, on, on what they're doing also. Uh, it's really, yeah, it's, uh, really kind of odd. Uh, now see, you know, I would be, I'm known as riffraff, uh, to all these places that I've just mentioned. Uh, I say, uh, I park in the street. You can, a lot of these places you can't park in the street. Um, uh, there's, uh, and, uh, I've been in some of these gated communities. Your visitors have to be gone uh, by 10 o'clock or, or whatever in the evening. Other than if you're going to have a party or something, you notify the your local uh, gated community. You know, they got a, you know, it's a lot of these gated communities have got a swimming pool. They've got a, a meeting center and stuff like that. And that's, that's why they don't want, people like me going around in the neighborhood you know I'll be because I'll be parking my car in the street and, uh, I might walk in somebody's grass or, or I might say hey how you doing you know like that you know these are all things why do, why do they want to associate with riff life like me so they keep us all in the community meeting area so there's ways uh, that these different communities uh, complete can police themselves without using police and I'm thinking and because you've heard me talk about man when you live in the city I don't know what the hell you do you're, you're pretty much screwed and I think um, people are learning that uh, more and more people are leaving the cities because of taxes everything's so expensive and stuff like that and they're moving out 
into uh, uh, rural areas where there's a lot of these gated communities. Some of these communities aren't gated and they're not regulated. And when they get like that, then that's when uh, you're going to have people you know, working on their car and on the, in the driveway, you know, putting it up on jacks or something, you know. And uh, so there's some places you can do this and some places you can't. Now, even, even in the country, like I say, I'm living out here in the country, uh, depending on what county you're in, uh, the different counties regulate what goes on, what you can do on your property. I mean, uh, like, can we dig a hole out here? You know what I mean? There's some counties that won't even let you dig a hole. So uh, you have to get a permit. Uh, you want to build a chicken coop. Well, you know, you got to get a permit to build a chicken coop, you know. And, and it's not that you have to have the permit. They want to know what you're doing on your property. So different counties are, are different. Some counties don't care what you do. And in some counties really uh, regulate what's going on. To me, the way I see it, uh, for you city folk that are used to being told what to do all the time, what you can do, where you can go, and uh, all this kind of stuff, then you know it's probably no big deal to you. For me, I've, I've enjoyed a pretty free life and uh, my morals have been able to see me through. I mean, uh, I don't find it immoral to uh, park in the street, <laughs> you know? So, you know, there's a lot of things like that where morals and, and regulations and laws all get all mixed up. That's why I'm saying, that's why I believe the police, uh, I, I'm a supporter of the police. Remember, I trained SWAT. And I trained SWAT with the intent to, when there's a time, uh, I, I specialize in hostage rescue. And hostage rescue is really a specialized uh, skill. And so you, police normally can't do that stuff. It, most people can't do that kind of stuff. So um, that's why I was training them on how to do hostage rescue in extreme situations and they would set me up with the most extreme situations they can come up with oh here let me the time is too much let me make let me go for number three this is mike no stress mike dot com